Josie's arrest was one of a real tidal wave of confrontations between journalists and law enforcement that unfolded in the course of protest coverage in 2020. You know, there's commotion outside at a very fraught time, and you know, Josie went to the action. She went to see what was going on to report on it. We need to be able to be there to be able to bring that story to our audiences because a healthy functioning democracy relies on it. And what law enforcement tried to do that night to Josie was to say, oh no, you cannot cover this. It was really important to us, especially in light of some of the misinformation that was being put out by the Sheriff's Department immediately after Josie's arrest to make it very clear that Josie had done nothing wrong. Josie showed remarkable determination getting from the day after going through an experience like this to that final vote on the settlement several years later. What she did was beyond what any of us thought possible and that was to put our profession first because she wanted accountability for all of us. A very important piece of this was this sort of training element. There is an agreement by the county now to have briefings with the deputies before there's an event where they think they may encounter press to go over the requirements and the obligations associated with those types of interactions. It's pushing back, like Josie did, that sends a message to law enforcement officers and their agencies that this type of conduct that violates First Amendment rights of journalists isn't acceptable and that there will be consequences. The egregious mistreatment that she suffered, I think really helped to catalyze awareness in California that the law needed to change to better protect journalists working in situations like this. Her primary goal from the beginning was to make sure that this didn't happen again and to make sure that other journalists who were covering protests don't have to experience what she experienced. And to me, that's just the definition of selflessness and courage. I hope our profession can feel grateful because things will change because of what Josie did on behalf of the rest of us.